What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, and my sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, Scorpio, so we're going to pull some messages from the lesson cards today, okay? If anything resonates for you, Scorpio, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, comment. Let Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal, you guys, my email will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's go. All right, Scorpio, I see lots of purple, okay? So I feel like your intuition has been talking to you, okay? Trying to tell you something at this time, okay? Like you've been thinking a lot about something, okay? I feel like Scorpio spirit, your spirit guides are trying to get you to accept something, okay? I feel like that you are having to accept that there are some things that you cannot change, okay? The only thing and the only person that you can change, Scorpio, is yourself, okay? So I feel like you're having to learn to accept that you cannot change someone. You cannot change a situation, okay? And I feel like intuitively, you know this, okay? Intuitively, you're going to have to accept some things that you can't change about a particular person or a situation here, okay? But I feel like, Scorpio, this acceptance is going to help bring some type of balance into your life. I feel like your life is kind of being off balance a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you haven't had that harmony that you've been wanting to have in your life. And you know intuitively why you haven't had this harmony, why you haven't had this balance, because you haven't been able to accept something, okay? Maybe there is someone, something that you're trying to change, Scorpio, but you can't change. Let me tell y'all something What's funny. These past couple of readings I've done today, like, it really reminds me of a situation I got going on myself right now, okay? You guys know I talked to you about my twin flame journey, right? Well, I also have a soulmate that I'm dealing with. And it was like, after I cut off my soulmate, I started, I mean, after I cut off my twin, July 11, 2019, y'all know Scorpios, we know the date, you know what I'm saying? I met my soulmate in September of that same year, 2019. But it's like, we've been on this continuous cycle. And I kind of feel like, because, you know, I've done readings for a lot of you guys. I've talked to a lot of you guys. You know, you shared with me about you and your twin and your connection. Like a lot of you guys, y'all had a real connection with your twin. I didn't. All I had was six. You know what I'm saying? So it's like dealing with my soulmate, I kind of feel like it gives me, I kind of feel like it gives me an idea of what my twin is like, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't know my twin as a person, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was someone who really hid himself from me very well. But my soulmate here, it's like, we've been going through some things, y'all, and it's like, all I've been wanting this man to do was open up. Like, I'm very, I'm very connected with myself emotionally. Like, I know what I need for emotional fulfillment. And it's like, I've been knowing, like, a situation happened, like, a couple of weeks ago. And it was like, when that shit happened, it had something to do with Capricorn or something move. I think it had to do with, with that Saturn retrograde. Yep. It had to do with that Saturn retrograde, you guys. Like, ever since that day, it's just been on my mind. Because I knew then, I was like, man, I'm going to have to separate from this guy like man, i'm gonna have to leave this dude alone you know what i'm saying and and i understand how it is scorpio because in this situation you know what i'm saying he's a, like he's he's a good dude like he is not a bad dude at all you know what i'm saying but at the same time it's like i'm not fulfilled like i know what i need emotionally to be fulfilled you know what i'm saying and i did a reading about someone being frustrated in a relationship like it was crazy i'm like i think i'm picking up on my own fucking energy here, okay? And I feel like this is something I also had to learn to accept. I can't change him. I can't make him be vulnerable, okay? He has a he has abandonment issues, you know what I'm saying? He has a lot that he has to heal from, just like I did. And until he heals, it's like we're not going to ever be on the, the same page, and that's what I'm having to realize right now, okay? And sometimes it's hard to accept, you know, that you and someone may not be together or it might may not work because because of them, you know what I'm saying? Because you guys, like, you know that you've grown, and I know emotionally, 
I've grown spiritually. I've grown. You know what I'm saying? It's like I can't allow myself to settle anymore. I settled in the past and I can't settle no more. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like some of you guys, you may be in the same boat or we all in the same boat together, paddling backwards and forward, trying to figure this shit out. But I feel like intuitively, we know what we got to do, Scorpio, okay? We know that we have to accept this situation in order to bring the balance that we need back into our life, okay? And we have to do this without judgment. We have to. We have to be more spiritual about this situation, not judge someone because they're not able to meet us spiritually, but just look at them and be able to help them, you know what I'm saying, if we can, without throwing ourselves out of balance here, okay? Because we got a purpose, Scorpio. We already know what the hell we're here to do, okay? A lot of people, Scorpio, don't know their purpose. A lot of people, Scorpio, are not walking within their purpose, okay? A lot of people, Scorpio, do not know what they are here to do. Damn, y'all might can hear me if I breathe the <laughs> A lot of people, Scorpio, do not know their purpose. They don't know what they're here to do, okay? But because you do, Scorpio, because you know your purpose, because you know what you're here to do, it's like you can't allow anything to throw you off at this time, okay? All right, let's pull a couple of more. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. And if anything is resonating with you, baby, because the damn show resonates with me, you let your girl know, okay? All right, messages for my Scorpio and Holy Spirit. What we need to know, I'm saying we, because I'm feeling this too, okay? Gratitude. <laughs> I feel like, Scorpio, once you do this, you're going to be very thankful, okay? I feel like you're going to realize like a major weight was lifted off your shoulder, okay? I feel like you're going to be thankful. I feel like for some of us, our heart chakra has even been closed a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Been blocked because we've been trying to work on somebody. We've been trying to make someone change and help someone change that's not ready for change, okay? In order for you to change, you have to be ready for change. If you're not ready to be vulnerable, if someone here is not ready to open up, we can't make them, okay? And that's something I'm learning to, okay? Because y'all know, Scorpio, we just want to help. If we see something good in somebody, we just want to bring it out, but they got to see this shit good within themselves, okay? All right, so I feel like, Scorpio, after possibly releasing this situation, because you know what you got to do, okay? I feel like you're going to be thankful, okay? Because I feel like this closing out this cycle with this person is going to present a lot of more opportunities in your life. I feel like this situation possibly has been blocking some things in your life because it kind of turns off your heart chakra because you were too focused and putting too much energy in a situation versus putting that on yourself. But well, damn, what was this? Loneliness. <laughs> I feel like, Scorpio, some of you guys, maybe you held on to this situation because you didn't want to be lonely. We've already been through this state of being or feeling lonely, Scorpio, because before, it's like each time I separate from him, I go through a period. Like, it used to be a year. A year, I think 14 months is the longest that we've been separated. We always, you know, come back together. But it be lonely because it's like they... It's like when I go through my little periods, when I have to separate, like, I, I don't talk to nobody, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I'm through with it, that era, you know? So I feel like, Scorpio, don't feel like that you're going to go through this period of being alone because you're never alone on this earth, okay? You got your soul tribe, you got your spirit guys, you know what I'm saying? And there is new opportunities that's coming your way. But if you're blocking these opportunities because you're holding on to something that no longer serves you, then you will feel this. Just don't let this, this feeling of, of loneliness keep you or allow you to hold on to somebody that you're not supposed to, okay? Talking to myself as well. All right. Messages for my Scorpio. I knew I was going to have to say something about this adventure because I kept seeing this energy. I'm like, shit, I think I'm talking about my damn self here. Any more messages, Holy Spirit? Freedom. <laughs> Oh, Scorpio, because spirit wants us to be free, okay? Because we have the power. Can't nobody else make us happy. We can't look to nobody else, Scorpio, to bring us joy, bring us happiness, bring us peace, okay? We're the only person, Scorpio, that can that can bring us happiness, okay? We're the only person that create that can create our own freedom and our own happiness, okay? So after this separation, Scorpio, after separating from this person, okay, you will be able to create your own happiness, okay? And you're going to be thankful because once you create your own happiness, there's going to be a lot of new opportunities that's going to come your way, okay? All right, so let's pull a couple of messages from the yin and yang, okay? All right, messages for my Scorpio, Thomas Spirit. <clears throat> what messages do you have for my Scorpio today? 
I love you, Scorpio. We're going to get through this together. <laughs> All right. Messages for my Scorpios. Look at this. I've been hurt. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpios at this time? All right, what do my Scorpios need to know, Holy Spirit? Mm, look at this, man. I can't make this up. Scorpio, you could be dealing with someone here that does not know how to express their feelings, okay? This is someone who does not know how to be vulnerable. And this is something, Scorpio, that we have to accept, that we're dealing with someone that does not know how to be vulnerable, does not know how to express their feelings. And once you accept that, Scorpio, it will be easier to release it, okay? It's like you, you're trying to tell yourself, like, yeah, this person will eventually, you know, do this, or they can do that, and, and they won't, Scorpio, okay? Now, we also, damn, I seen this a second ago. So we got a message, Scorpio, okay? So some of you guys can have a message that can be coming in okay someone here scorpio that possibly in the past that felt like scorpio they didn't owe you an explanation somebody here scorpio could feel like now they owe you an explanation okay now someone scorpio wants to come in and explain something tell you their side of the story okay and this could be someone scorpio that you had a strong sexual chemistry i'm talking about sex Ooh, scorpio that chemistry now for some of you guys it could have just been chemistry you know you and this person may have not actually had sex okay before you guys that had sex with this person maybe that chemistry was off the chain do you hear me okay so scorpio i feel like someone in the past okay now for some of you this is talking about this situation okay you may have had to release someone in your past so this could be your current situation this could have been someone scorpio that did not know how to express your feelings and you want this person to open up okay express their feelings tell you how they feel like hi and it was crazy, Scorpio. That's what I went through with my twin. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know some of you guys have been through this, been with someone that you know loves you. You know what I'm saying? Got feelings and emotions and all this shit, but they don't tell you. You know what I'm saying? That drives you absolutely crazy for you to know how a person feel about you, but you want to hear them say it. You don't want to sit up here and be guessing and thinking and stuff and say, we may be guessing wrong. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be wrong. I want to be, I want to be right, but I can't be right unless you tell me, okay? So I feel like Scorpio, someone in the past that never felt like they owed you an explanation, never wanted to tell you the truth, never wanted to explain themselves. This is someone, Scorpio, that could be wanting to send you a message or you're going to receive a message from this person, okay? And this is someone, Scorpio, that possibly has learned some type of karmic lesson, okay? Which means, Scorpio, this person had to, a karmic had to be set alone, this person's path. To teach them a lesson, okay? Because whatever lesson this person had, whatever lesson spirit had in store for this person, you are not going to be able to teach this person, Scorpio, because we're too pure. We're too kind hearted. You know what I'm saying? We'll, even when we got to pull this thing around, Scorpio, sometimes we feel bad. And I ain't gonna lie in the moment, I don't give a damn about what I'm saying, okay? But later on, yeah, I feel bad about this shit, okay? So someone here, Scorpio, had to learn a karmic lesson because they were very toxic, okay? This is someone who. I feel like spirit has to match them up with another karmic. Like for some of you guys, if this is your divine counterpart, when you were dealing with them, they felt more like a karmic than a divine masculine, okay? Same thing here. So what this person did, okay, what spirit had to do was set a karmic along this person's path to teach them a karmic lesson, okay? Teach them about, like, this person thought they was toxic. Shit, they matched, they, they met, they matched. They tell somebody, Scorpio, that was way more toxic than they were okay now scorpio for some of you guys this person could have been married to whoever this was it's karmic okay but now scorpio they are getting a divorce okay because now this person knows their worth okay when they were dealing with this person scorpio this person didn't know your, their worth just like scorpio when we were dealing with past people or even this past person scorpio you didn't know your worth and that's why you allowed this person to treat you any type of way talk to you any type of way handle you any type of way okay but once you learn your worth you put you set your boundaries okay same thing this person had to go through when they were dealing with this karma scorpio going through this lesson first of all it was a lesson so they had to learn something okay but what they also had to learn through this lesson was their worth okay not to allow anyone to treat them any type of way okay then look at this scorpio i can't make this up why don't you reply to my text some of you guys when this person reaches out 
you're not going to reply to their text. One, you may not know what to say, okay? For some of you guys, you've been waiting on this person to reach out to you for a long time. Hold on, Scorpio. You've been waiting on this person, Scorpio, to reach out to you for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Then when this person finally reaches out, for some of you guys, you're going to be like, shit, I don't even want to talk to your ass no more. Like, shit, you took too long to, to send me a message, okay? So this person could be messaging multiple times, okay? Over and over again, wanting to know, Scorpio, why you don't reply to my text, okay? And this person, Scorpio, is sending you a message because this is someone who is ready to come into union. See, in the past, Scorpio, this person didn't know their worth. They didn't know, Scorpio, they were worth if they didn't know their worth, they couldn't see your worth, okay? They didn't know that, that you were worth all their time, energy, money, love, effect. Like, they didn't know that you were worth all these things, okay? For some of you guys, this could be talking about an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But I feel like, Scorpio, you would not be wanting to reach out to this person, Scorpio, because you, you just want this person to leave you alone. Like, once you walked away from this person... Once you separated yourself from this person, you told yourself you weren't going back. You weren't going back to this toxic ass shit. You will never go back to this toxic con connection that you shared with this person. You know what I'm saying? You was like, uh-uh, this shit is over. A lot of you guys, what did I say? I can't make this up, Scorpio. A lot of you guys, you felt like you were dealing with your fate divine counterpart your fate twin flame when you were hearing about how your divine masculine is supposed to treat you and handle you and all this type of way you was like well shit that couldn't have been that motherfucker i was dealing with so a lot of you guys you walked away and you stand firm on your ground about you're not gonna ever deal with this person again because you feel like this is your fake divine counterpart okay some of you guys this could also be a fire sign aries leo or sag okay but whichever way scorpio the karma knows about you okay don't think for one second that this third party or this karma does not know about you okay but this is someone that thinks about you all the time okay and this is someone scorpio that also wants to know will you forgive them for how they treated you in the past okay and this is someone scorpio that wants to bring balance to this situation okay balance out the scales give you your karma justice but this through experience in scorpio this person is all up in their head all in their feelings okay probably thinking scorpio you're not going to give them another chance okay so for some of you guys this person is going to pop up on you unexpectedly scorpio i can't make this up and i'm talking about your damn divine masculine okay some of you guys your divine masculine is going to pop up at your house unexpected okay all in their feelings wanting to express themselves to you okay because you ain't answering they text they phone call scorpio so the next best thing for them to do is pop up at your house okay now your intensity does scare this person scorpio okay but i feel like at that moment in time this, this person gonna be like empty and they're gonna come towards you okay now for some of you guys when this person comes towards you they may want to keep this a secret okay when you and your twin when you and your divine counterpart scorpio come into union you may feel like and, and, and you i'm telling you scorpio listen to what i'm saying because a lot of you guys, we were secrets. We ain't trying to be no secret. But I feel like this person is going to try to protect you because you have a lot of haters, Scorpio, okay? You got this third party. They family and friends don't like you, okay? Some of your divine mask and they family and friends don't like you, okay? Hell, some of your own family and friends don't like you, Scorpio, okay? But you got a lot of haters. A lot of people that want, don't want to see this great union come together, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's see what signs we talking about. We had Aries, Leo, Sag. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Who is this reading about for my Scorpios? I love you, Scorpio. Scorpio, I know what I'm saying. When my arms get ready, I'm about to lift me some weights. I done lost a little weight. And I see I got a little, little slab up on there. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be, I ain't trying to be swole with shit. I want my arms to be strong. You know what I'm saying? Scorpio, we have Capricorn, Cancer, Virgo, Aries. Scorpio, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Heavy Libra, and Scorpio, we also have Capricorn, Leo, Virgo, and Aquarius. All right, you guys, I love you, Scorpio, and until next time, baby, stay blessed.